My first love is growing things. And there's nothing more fun than to plant a tree and see the fruit that it produces. I'm Gary Locks, fourth generation Sunkiss grower here in Porterville, California. This is my father, Don Locks, third generation Sunkiss grower, and my nephew, Matt Leiter, fifth generation Sunkiss grower. There aren't very many businesses that are family owned and operated for 100 years. And our family has been growing oranges in California and for Sunkiss since around 1911. I learned a lot from my dad because my dad and I would work together. He always went out and helped him. I used to come home from school and he was taking these trees out and we'd have a two-man saw, a long saw, and he on one end and me on the other. And he never got tired, but I sure did. My father's 85 and he's still planting. He's one of the best farmers I know in that he doesn't necessarily follow the fads of what's going on. He knows what works and stays with it. And rather than, you know, change direction halfway through your course or what have you, he stays the course. There's a big misconception that farmers are just tilling the ground and pulling every resource out of it. If we do do that, our trees, our fruit's not going to produce. Navels have to have a certain amount of cold but not too cold because if it gets too cold, then they freeze. You will not find a navel grown anywhere on the planet that's as good as a California navel. It's great soil, it's the right climate. It's all about the California sunshine. We all have to be good stewards of whatever has been handed to us. We have to make certain that it's available for the next generation. I have my nephew working with me. He's an orange grower just starting out and he will continue on the locks trait of multi-generational citrus grower. My grandfather saw this grove all the way through its maturity and now I'm seeing groves start at their infant stage and go to their maturity. It's kind of inspiring to know that this has been here for 50, 60 years and I can see it go to the next generation. It's a passion. You have to have passion for this because there's long hours. You just, you have to love it and I love it. I love getting up and going to work. It's just being outside in the sunlight and being around growing things. I mean, you, can't, you really can't put it into words. It's just, you feel it right here.